Wave energy harnesses the power uh, of the ocean currents to make power. Unlike wind or solar, it's a relatively new player in the field. CETO Wave technology, which converts the energy in the ocean swell into electricity. Wave energy has been estimated to be able to supply more than the whole world's current power consumption. The technology sits fully submerged beneath the ocean surface and consists of a buoy which moves with the ocean's waves. We capture the up and down movement of that buoy to drive a pump which is attached to the sea floor. The pump in turn delivers high pressure water through a pipe back ashore and once onshore that high pressure water is used to drive a hydroelectric turbine. But we can also use the hydraulic power to power an off-the-shelf reverse osmosis desalination plant. The area for a wave farm will be much smaller than, say, a comparable solar farm with the same output. Waves are pretty predictable. We, we have a pretty clear schedule of tides, we know how the, the water moves, so it would be a reliable source of energy. Not only does the system not displace marine life, it in fact attracts marine life, acting like an artificial reef. We increased the amount of marine life from about seven species before the system was deployed to 27 species when it was operating. One of the other benefits is that you, we see these big fights over putting out a wind turbine off the coast and then people fight about they don't want to see it. By being fully submerged, we have zero visual impact. We are effectively invisible. When you're standing at the beach and you're looking at the ocean, you see nothing. 